Bug maybe tipping his hand a little bit or acknowledging that. So, but but when he comes, says that about the top ten picks, that's the thing that I wanted to come back to because again, he's got they got number four. The Broncos have top ten as well. There's a lot of pressure on. Top 10. <laughs> Buddy, out here with Joe. How are we doing, Joe? Dying. Dying. <laughs> We're uh, not messing around today. Green Mountain. It snowed yesterday or the day before in Denver, so everything is very, very muddy. Taking the uh, Nike Terra Kiger fives out right now, uh, and then the Wild Horse fives later. So Joe's just uh, crushing it there in the back. We're getting Joe used to the trails. <laughs> oh man, nice day. Nice day, YouTube family. two I did loop number one with Joe Joe had to take off and uh, Joe ran in high school Joe you got some nice running for him by the way by the way he's just nice and smooth you know what I mean when you see a runner that has a, a very smooth stride a smooth gait cycle it's nice Joe so okay switching from the wild horse fives into back into the Terra Kiger fives and basically this is gonna be a pretty interesting uh, running shoe battle I'll definitely be comparing both of these not today but uh, I'm just trying to feel it out this is my first day in both shoes uh, take oh man oh so much for new shoes Shoes. look at that oh man totally totally trash now but it is all worth it right oh man okay it's just actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the I'm gonna keep the wild horse five on my foot right now and I'm going to walk around real quick in the parking lot and uh, compare just see how the two shoes feel between the wild horse five and the Terra Kiger right now Okay, really interesting stuff going on. I'm just gonna say, I'll do one comparison today. Right now, the wild horse is feeling much more comfortable through the upper. Like I'm feeling a few pressure points in the top of the Terra Kiger 5, basically right where the tongue is at. Um, I, I don't know, I just I gotta figure it out and maybe pair it with a thicker sock, we will see. But so far, I can, and I noticed it immediately. Um, anyway, the wild horse 5 upper is feeling like a, feeling luxurious compared to the Terra Kiger. So anyway, there they are. Boom, boom, boom. All right, putting the Terra Kigers on. T 
Time to go clean up. And here we go, my first impressions of the Nike Terra Kiger 5. All right, look at that mud. It was a good day in the mud and the hills. Okay, but first, let's open up this box. Arrived today at the P.O. Box. Oh man, thank you for sending. This is for the running shoe giveaway. Let's see, it is from, shout out to Patrick. That's right, thank you, Patrick. Let's see inside. I don't know the next date yet for the next giveaway. Stay tuned. Um, It'll probably be closer to May, but anyway, stay tuned. I will announce it very, very soon. All right, let's see what Patrick sent for the next running shoe giveaway. Oh, oh, Mizuno, there we go. Look at that. This is a racer, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like a nice, nimble, lightweight racer. This is the Wave, oh my goodness, I, the Wave Ekiden 10. I'm not saying that right, the Wave Ekaden 10. All right, I'll just tell you the size as well. Let's get the size. So this will be a US size eight and a half. So if you're a size eight and a half and you're looking for a road racing shoe, this looks nice. This looks really nice. Look at that outsole. Oh man, okay, so that's exciting. All right, we are gonna set that aside. This will be for the next running shoe giveaway. I like the colorway. Good job, Mizuno, okay. And moving on to my first impression of the Nike Terra Kiger 5. This is not my full review. That'll happen down the road after 50 miles. First impression, running wide through the toe box. Yes, running wide through the toe box. So just so you know, if you like your toes to splay, this might be a good shoe for you. Or if your forefoot is really wide, again, this might be a good shoe for you. As far as the length of the shoe, I went true to size it's running big. I wish I would have gone at least a half size down. Like I've got a lot of space uh, for my toes to move around. I'm not slipping too much, but anyway, I wish I would have gone a half size down. And next time I take the shoes out, uh, I will be putting on thicker socks, probably my darn tough socks. And so anyway, just keep that in mind. If you're ordering online, you might want to explore a half size down. I almost, for me, I could have almost even gone a full size down. It's I'm getting a long, long length through the Terra Kiger 5. Okay, also let's move on to the drop of the shoe. So it's a 20 millimeter stack height in the heel, 20 millimeter and 16 millimeter in the forefoot. So a four millimeter drop. Um, I'm a little baffled. I wish, <laughs> I wish it would have been, I wish it was a little higher, Nike. I feel, I'm feeling like I'm doing a little extra work in the hills. I like at least a six, maybe even an eight millimeter drop would be nice, just putting it out there. So anyway, just my first impression as far as comfort goes through the collar of the Terra Kiger 5, nice snug fit through the heel, a nice lockdown uh, through that heel counter. That is the uh, little flare in the back there. That's called the heel counter. So feeling good through the heel, through the collar. This is the collar right there. That's the collar. Uh, but I am, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned this earlier, I'm feeling some discomfort uh, through the lacing system. And like they added a little bit of padding on the tongue of the shoe, which is great. Uh, I'm feeling nice and I'm feeling nice comfort through the lacing right on top of the foot. But these eyelets, I'm not too excited right now about these eyelets. See, so the, what, what is an eyelet on a shoe? An eyelet is what the, the lace, uh, the shoelace actually uh, goes through. So it's a little different on the Wild Horse 5. And frankly, I'm feeling these eyelets and I don't like them so far. So just putting that out there, um, I had to lace it up pretty snug to get that lockdown feel. And uh, so I'm a little concerned about the upper of the Terra Kiger 5 through the lacing system. Uh, everything else as far as the uh, upper is looking good. So I'm gonna save talking about the midsole and the outsole mostly for the full review. I will just mention real quick is that this pink here is React Foam, the same foam you will find in the Epic React. So uh, that's kind of neat. Now, strange enough, this iteration, the Tiger, the Terra Kiger 5, actually gained a little weight from the Terra Kiger 4. Usually, 
iterations of shoes lose weight like you always want to lose weight but what the reason why it gained a little weight is because they added a rock plate through the forefoot so just keep that in mind it did gain a little weight this go round for the Terra Kyger 5 and as far as a positive goes for the Terra Kyger 5 on my first impression it felt pretty responsive and snappy out on the trails that's a bonus but a drawback, again, uh, the upper is my main drawback, but then also, it was a little slick. The lug depth, I measured it, and I'm coming in at about three to four millimeter lug depth, leaning more toward three millimeters, so I was slipping a little bit in that mud, so I would say that the Terra Kyger 5 is not made for that really deep mud. That kind of goes without saying if you compare it to the Solomon Speedcross 5 or the Innovate Mud Claw. Like, it's just it's just in a little bit of a different uh, class when it comes to the lug depth. So keep that in mind if you run on really muddy trails. This might not be the best option for you. And so this is the first video publishing on the channel today. Come back, mark your calendar, set an alarm on your phone. I'm gonna talk, where is it? I'm gonna talk in the second video, 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So 7 p.m. on the East Coast, uh, 4 p.m. on the West Coast. I'm gonna talk about the Wild Horse 5. In the second video, I tested both shoes today. It's not gonna be a comparison video, but I am gonna talk about the Wild Horse 5. And uh, all right, price point. $130. $130 for the Terra Kyger 5. And uh, you already heard the, uh, the hint for the keyword. I hope you picked up on that. All right, in conclusion, I'm not sure yet. I'm actually leaning a little away from the shoe at this point. I'm just putting it out there, being completely transparent. I don't know. I'm a little... I'm a little apprehensive, frankly. So stay tuned for my full review probably in a couple weeks after I put 50 miles into this bad boy. All right, question of the day. How was your week of training the entire week? How did it go uh, from Monday to today, Saturday? I know we've got another day left in the week, but how is it going? Mine was a little tough. I had to cut my volume, cut a workout on Tuesday. It was a little difficult to do that, but uh, I know it's gonna be better for the long term leading up to Cleveland. So that's the question of the day. Thanks for hitting it up down below. This is the first video. Again, second video publishing at 5 p.m. Mountain time. See beauty, work hard and love each other.